Senator's time has expired and there are other senators waiting. I've got a bunch more tweets. Thank you for your objective advice, I'm sure you Doc. do. You can make- now they got no respect from anyone. When I called up suicide prevention, they try to talk me into it. <laughs> What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. So what is the most important question ever asked inside of the halls and chambers of our sacred government here in America? And there's been some pretty historic moments, been some pretty remarkable speeches that have been given throughout the course of American history, right? We have a proud, beautiful 250-year history in this country. Um, but I would argue that the senator from Louisiana saying, name three things that don't hang themselves. Christmas ornaments, drywall, and Jeffrey Epstein is possibly the greatest moment at in Senate questioning history. How can I put this? Christmas ornaments, drywall, and Jerry Epstein. Name three things that don't hang themselves. It, that's what the American people think. That's what the American people think. That is what the American people think. John Kennedy regularly speaking on behalf of the American people really do. Really do love this man, but I never knew uh, that I would ever hear this genteel, elderly Louisiana senator say the words sick fuck in a Senate hearing. But in fact, he has done that. And this is the setup here is he has a series of tweets that he wishes to read to humiliate a witness. And this is uh, one of the tweets attacking him. And so Senator Kennedy makes sure that... uh, when you're in the Senate, you know who's boss, and you want to watch a witness literally shake with fear. Here we go. May, I, may I please see the documents? Yes, yes sir. And the, and the witness's documents there. May I please and point the out this form the of- senator's time has expired, and there are other senators waiting. I've got a bunch more tweets. Thank you for your objective advice. I'm sure you Doc. do. You can make uh, put them into a question for the record, and yes, I'd like to submit all reply. of all of the good doctor's objective tweets and scientific analysis uh, for the record. That Thank will you. be done without objection. Senator Merkley. May I clarify one final point? Proceed. Um, these are not my tweets. These are retweets. This is an important Oh, you often retweet stuff you don't support? Is that what you're telling me, Doc? I did not say that I don't support this. I simply did not tweet it, which, as you were alleging. But you retweeted I'd like to make very clear that this but form of character assassination is characteristic of the propaganda techniques you of fossil tr- fuel You and retweeted Senator it, Merkley. didn't you? Thank you. Are you going to call me a sick It's Senator Merkley's time. <laughs> that should be uh that's one for the ages you're gonna call me a sick f so senator kennedy with no filter look at the man you can always tell people you can always tell their body language people's body language when they're nervous look at the blinking the heavy blinking the bloodshot eyes the twitching the back and forth and the back and forth in the chair right like if, I, if this is what i did the entire time that we were doing reads yeah okay got it Senator Kennedy is a uh, national treasure. He, you know, obviously got balls of brass. Uh, he also exposes some of the dumbest witnesses. You know, he's, he's got these really dumb witnesses that are called because the Senate is controlled by Democrats. This is a climate activist, this Gen Z climate activist. A beautiful moment, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by Senator Kennedy. What is what is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm I went to high school, but that's uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. Okay. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a professional to talk about carbon dioxide so much, but well, you, you want us to abolish it, right? No, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. So, so what is it you want us to do? I now, let, me, let me back up because I, I want to. I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross-country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is, what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what, is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yes. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. What will we do with fossil fuels? Yeah. Should we make any changes? I would like to see a decrease in the use of fossil fuels. I think there's a possibility to use more electric generation. Okay, over uh, over what period of time? 10 years, 50 years, 100 years? That's not... I would like to see it come as fast as possible while continuing... How fast? On. Sorry? How fast? I'm not... I don't have a... You don't know? For that. No. 
Okay. You just think, well, uh, how, how much will it cost for us to uh, become carbon neutral in the United States by 2050? I'm not a professional on that. I don't have an answer. You don't have any idea? No. You, you just think we ought to spend the money? I'm not an economist. Yeah, but it's going to cost money. You realize that. Yeah, but we've also talked about the, the trade-off of what the cost of climate change as emergencies will cost in the future also. So. Right, but it's going to cost trillions of dollars to become carbon neutral by 20,050, right? I do not know. You don't know. You just think we ought to do it. I, I don't have a great answer for you. The must-watch John Kennedy as star Democrat witnesses about carbon dioxide and climate change. This exchange defines the climate grift, empty, uninformed talking points, and then asking for money. Yeah, uh, Senator Kennedy was pr really proud of this one <laughs> himself. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm had to be trolled like that. There are so many. There are lots of clips. Okay, I asked my producers some of the fa our favorite Senator Kennedy clips. And uh, they gave me like 200,000. We don't have enough time uh, for that. But there is a really, really good one on anti-gun witness getting destroyed. Do you support fried foods or outlawing fried foods? Let's make sure that uh, the American people hate you with kind of disdain that they should have for somebody who wants to limit our freedoms. Here we go. You, you equated gun deaths to heart disease in your opening statement. Yes, sir. Which is a greater public health problem? Gun deaths or heart disease? So heart disease does kill more folks across the United States, largely in the about end of their life. About 700,000? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gun deaths, about 50,000? Correct. Do you, do you support outlawing fried foods? I, I'm sorry. How does that relate to... Because fried foods contribute to heart disease, don't they? Again, I have not written or said that I I'm support sure outlawing. You're a physician, right? I am. Have I said that I support outlawing anything in my testimony today? Okay. Let me ask one more question. I'm sorry, I cannot see that far, doctor, on the very end. Cozy Gay, thank you. Yes, sir. You, you said, I wrote it down. You said that no one should be judged by the worst thing they have done in their lives. Correct. If one of these young doctors sitting behind you, God forbid, walks out on the streets of Washington, D.C. and is raped or sodomized, you don't think the rapist should be judged? I don't think it should be terminal. It shouldn't be for the rest of their lives. You think we should forgive them and not give them any punishment? I believe in you think nobody's responsible for their actions? I believe in responsibility. I believe in forgiveness. Thank you, Mr. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Butler.